Hi YouTube, today we're going to be doing a knife review, just a quick overview, and it is on the SE RC4. Now, I've had this knife for a little while, probably about six months, and right now this is one of my favorite go-to campcraft, bushcraft knives. Um, I think SE did an outstanding job when they made this knife, and I'm going to share some of the details with you. First, I'm going to come on up so I can show you how this looks. comes with a Kydex sheath right here. It has a little lanyard on the bottom. And uh, I put my own special little lanyard on there with some paracord that I had purchased. Um, out of the sheath, you know, I use my knives and just to show you, yeah, it's dirty. You know, I'm not going to clean it up just for a video gear review because I use my stuff you know like anybody should use and that doesn't mean I abuse it you know I'll uh, clean it up later on but uh, just want to show you folks that yeah you know I really do use my gears not just new and sits in a cupboard all day now this stuff this knife is um, made out of 1095 carbon steel and SE has put on some sort of powder coat on there to protect that now what they recommend is is that when you store this knife for any amount of time or if it's in wet weather that you apply some sort of lubricant to this blade especially around where the etching is the laser etching and around the cutting edge um, just to keep as like a rust inhibitor and it's a good idea to do that with any of the knives that you own now this knife overall is nine inches long and the blade length is four inches long the knife had a really good feel, fits good in my hand, has a nice choil, you know, and um, the jimping on top, I feel it's just enough jimping. My thumb doesn't slide when I use this knife, and um, you know, with my index finger up in the choil like that, you know, I can get in there and I can do the fine detail work, you know, if I'm making fire sticks um, or what have you, you know. Um, I would do light batoning with this knife. You know, some people may differ. You know, I'm not big on really abusing my knives too hard. So I would do light batoning. If it was a survival situation, you know, all bets are off at that point. I would deal with it at that moment, you know. But for everyday use, you know, um, this will do good bushcraft, campcraft work. Uh, the scales on here are. Uh, a McCarter and you know they feel really well you know um, Essie did a great job in this when they built this knife I mean it's pretty well balanced you know let's check it out here I don't want to drop it on my foot but uh, yeah it, it's pretty well balanced you know um, the blade thickness on this is uh, 3 16 we'll get in close you know some knives, I know a lot of Topps knives that I own, that's a quarter inch of steel. And sometimes I find, you know, when it's that thick on a knife this small, it's sometimes hard to sharpen. You know, um, the scales are removable. You can do that if you want to clean up the knife. Uh, what I did also as an added feature, you know, I purchased a um, custom Kydex sheath, one, you know, because this came with some molly straps on there and I'll show you real quick you know had a bag with some molly straps in it and you can configure it on this a couple different ways you know any way you want and on their diagram they even used a paracord you know to put as a belt loop me you know the only downfall to the knife I think is that um, I like a good belt loop maybe it's just me I don't know personal preference you know us knife lovers we all are stuck in our ways and we all have our own personal preferences and it's you know it's like food you know you acquire a taste for something and that's what you like and everybody has a different opinion I respect everybody's opinion me I personally went out and uh, there's a gentleman on eBay and he goes by the name of uh, Kondoha and I'll put um, his information in the notes down at the bottom of the video. And he made this custom sheath out of Kydex. 
and he does that for a lot of uh, SE knives and you know what it works really great fits on my belt really well um, he's out of Carson Nevada did a great job knife fits in there you know let me give it the old shake test watching my feet so I don't stab myself you know the knife doesn't rattle around at all you know has a really good feel so you know just a quick video gear review on this I just wanted to get the information out to you that you know for a pretty good price I mean you got a knife here that it would last you a lifetime if you treat it right this SE RC4 you know um, those guys did a great job in all their knives so I also own an Azula as a neck knife I'll be doing a video gear review on that sometime in the near future um, this is a knife that you know it's a little bit more pricey but you know if you want a knife that's gonna last you a lifetime you know something like this is gonna last you for years and if you treat it right you can hand it down to your your kid and your grandkids uh, this is the SE RC4 um, I look forward to uh, any video responses of people using their SE RC4 um, post them up I'll put them on this link let's uh, see how many we can get up there this is wingman sharing with you a video gear review of the SE RC4 thanks for watching if you like my videos please press the like button down below and pass the word about our channel Thank you so much for watching. You have a great day.